Hi everybody, welcome, welcome very much to the channel. Today we have a game from the online ladder. We have Tai Chan playing as the Japanese versus Give You Anxiety, aka Jue playing as the English. This is a North America United States Derby. Both players from the United States. And immediately Jue coming in to fish on the middle of the map. And it's a English power move. Because if the enemy tries to do the same, you can just shoot the enemy villagers with your own villagers and can, they cannot answer back. Faye going in with the Tawara into the berries. Seems a good move for me. And Jiwe will be fishing. Which can be good, but at the same time it can make you a bit slow. Right? And then especially Japanese, they can edge up kind of quick with the Tawara and the berry collection and then send a lot of bugacious to destroy the dock before you edge up and make a military boat out not a lot of one two only three uh shoreline fishes here hopefully uh Jiwei did not delete some shoreline fish here for himself right It's not a lot of fishing, so I think on this wing for the furthest away fish as well, making this less efficient. Because from here to there, it's really, really quick. Look at that. All the ship very well aligned under the town center. Only, only one villager on the berries, though. I mean, it's phase almost edging up in terms of food. Right, but still lacking some gold. By the way, guys, if you enjoy the content, leave a like and subscribe. And you can follow me and these two players live on Twitch as well by following the links down below. Japanese almost ending up. Japanese into English. It's a very interesting matchup, actually. You could say it's a bad matchup because of the archers. The Archer Wars, we have the Longbow on the Japanese, and you have the Yumi Ashigaru for the... J no, you have the Longbow for the English, and the Yumi Ashigaru for the Japanese. And the Yumi Ashigaru are weaker archers, but they cost less food and wood. They are made faster, and they move faster as well. So if you have a good amount of them, you can really catch the Longbows of guard, actually. And then you always have the Samurai, if you have enough Samurai... They can pretty they can deal pretty well with the longbows, but they can't really chase the longbows. I mean they can, but it's always hard because of the attack animation. It makes it hard for the samurai to follow and chase down the longbows, right? But then English they don't have a lot of options in feudal age. They can go for men at arms, which actually I think versus the samurai is a good option. Because Samurai, they have a little bit of advantage, which is the um, deflective armor. But that doesn't really work well against the longbows, right? But in Castle Age, they have access to the Odachi, which is a better weapon. So they do more damage against melee units. Or no, against all infantry, I mean. So then they are better than your men at arms, right? Now, Council Hall coming in for the English, but the Kura Storehouse is ready for fate. So, some free farms will be popping out, and some shelter, actually, will be here on this landmark, available for Faye. Council Hall being built by five villagers. Will take a while. Come up online. What is the move for Faye? Is she looking to take down that uh, dock? They're going for um, improved town center into Uma Bannerman and the Horseman or Aggression into Fast Castle? I think so, right? They are ready for everything? No. Not oh, because super valuable uh, Porge over here, actually. Pretty good. Yeah. 
GOA reaches the castle age, the feudal age, I mean. And uh, not queuing up any longbow, there are the resources for it. They're making more houses. And what's the plan here? They have a lot of food, they can go into men at arms if they wish to. But uh, uh, no units at the moment. I'm your word, okay. Making a barracks, perhaps? Yep, barracks it is. They going because I think they saw the stable, right? For from, from Faye. Horseman chasing down the villager. The villager is already running away. A nice body block with the scout because I think the horseman was in uh, just uh, automatic. They were on a move, not on right click on the villager. So they just start attacking the nearest thing, which was a scout. First spear out on the field. Okay, now spears and longbows. It's the usual English army, right? There you go, Umar Bannerman. Coming out. It's actually a very big range to support their units. More horsemen. I think just for a better harassment, because horsemen, horsemen raids are not very good, right? We have plus one. We can have plus two. So the horsemen will be doing... Can do 13 spear, 13 spears, 13 damage, right? And, uh, no, okay, range defense is already in. Uh, but against the English, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, I mean, it's good. It's better than not having, for sure. But they, they, they still melt horsemen. That town center, if you um, put all the villagers inside, they still melt the horsemen. Right? But that guy over there... The Uma Bannerman, he's basically a knight, right? They have 4 ranged armor now. They can go to uh, 21 damage. They are going to. And they make the horseman do a bit more damage too. So with 20%? 15%, uh, okay. And they have deflective armor too. So pretty good. You see, they barely take any damage. They have a lot of good defense. And... Theoretically, you can go for more of them if you upgrade your town center again. But that just takes too much time. I think it's not even like 600 stone is a lot of stone, I know. That's what you need for the next step. But it just I think it's more the time, right? Than the stone itself that prevents players from doing that more often in Feudal Age. Because you could go for at least one more, I think. Or two more if you upgrade the town center again. And that will be very hard to deal with. But Spears and Longbows in position. Fey almost aging up. That's crazy, actually. Because they made four horsemen. That's 400 food. But with the Taike Zaiko. Yes, Taike Zaiko is in. And with the berries. Collection rate. It's pretty crazy. I think it's equivalent to deer right now. And then with the third upgrade, I think it's equivalent to boar. And the carry capacity too gets. It's now at plus six, and then can get to plus. Can get. Uh, it's now at sixteen, and then can get to nineteen. See sixteen, and Fey killed one villager, which is good. But the GUA does have the boats, still with some food there. Uh oh, counter attack! He knows that Fey is about to wage up, or should be about to wage up. But floating gate covered under the town center. So no problem over there. Tower. Buying some time, but the tower will not be there for too long. Scout goes down, but you has no defense now. They have one spear there. Two of the horsemen went down already, bro. I told you it's... Horsemen raids are... Like, you need a lot of them for it to be effective, aka when you are in Imperial Age. It's the, the really good actually because they have, they have plus 3 defense. As a, as a Japanese plus 4 attack, right? So actually, Horseman Raid 
in Imperial by the Japanese, it's really good. And then they can have biology, so more HP, so they can spend more time uh, taking that arrow damage. Japanese moving around here for the gold. Nice, actually, good spawn for Fei. Killing more villagers, killed four villagers so far, but lost two as well. Castle Edge is here. Will we see Yorishiro into the stable? Yeah, into Night Spam. Night Spam, Night Spam, Night Spam. Oh, they, they need to change the, um, the rally point. Because they will be going straight into the spears. Uh oh. Oh, they go in, they're not afraid. Yeah. Yeah, take that. Oh, because Joey is not paying attention. So the spear is not attacking the knight. The mounted samurai, actually. Oh, but Jiwei is going up with the king's palace. So that's a second TC right there. Giving a lot of eco advantage, but they, do they have time? It's already a lot of knights coming in, bro. Four knights, three more in queue. Umar banner man making the knights stronger. No, plus two armor. Ranged armor is still coming through. Rushing up that king's palace looks good to me. Okay, good work here. The knights go down, but they do good work. They kill a lot of villagers. Jiwei is now three economical units behind, and the boats will run out of purpose. Wood is going down. We have 42 food over there. I think you can't even make a spear with that. No, you cannot make a spear with those 42 food. Dock is going down. I mean, you don't need to kill the dock now. If you just look. Just, if you just look over there, you know there is no more food. And uh, this fight, no, not yet uh, super improvised, <laughs> improved um, town center, but she wants to, more stone to improve the town center. Then more stone over there, and more stone over there too. Because what some people do when play Japanese, instead of making keeps, they make a second TC, like, close to the gold or close to a sacred site, and then they improve it until they can shoot rockets. And it actually, it's a nice strategy, but it's just a big investment, too big of an investment, right? Shinto Rituals increases Shinto Priest health by 40%, healing rate by 60. Bro, I have to use that more, actually. You know why I don't use that? Because I thought that was only on Imperial Age. But it's not. You have... The other technologies are... Yeah. It's actually really good to use them with your army. Because the healing rate plus 60% is crazy. Right, crazy, right? Plus 3, here we go, Kobuse Gitae. Faye going to the third relic. Fourth in the middle, fifth right there. Fifth, kinda hard to reach. The knight is going there, I think, to have vision and protect that relic from being grabbed. Jiwei on two TCs. So, that will grow. I think Faye should go into two town centers as well. Because they can have... There we go! See? I thought it was to improvise... Improve, improve not improvise, the second town center. The first town center, but no. Let's make a second one. Because what is the English trademark? Oh, we have wood farms. Guess what, Japan can have way better farms than you, brother. But they have to invest a lot, right? They have to... So right now, they are on 25%. Better farms. English, right now, is also on 25%. But then when they adjust, they go to 30. And the thing is, English can have, can have all their farms improved. While Japanese, it's only around the main town center. Or if you improve the other one. The thing is, you have to invest 
to, to get better farms than the English, you, you have to invest uh, 600 stone. And then to get crazy good farms, another 1,200. Uh, but against English, I think it's very, very worth it. Because then you, you're basically taking away all the advantages that English have. You have be better men at arms. You have better knights. You have better farms. You have... Uh, you, you can have faster military production. You also have a second TC now. You have fake relics. You can have faster siege production, right? The only thing that English still have better than the Japanese at that point is the archers. But if you're going mass knights, you can you can actually run mass knight and mass Yumi Ashigaros, and that will beat spear and longbow actually. That's a lot of knights though, they're coming in. Jue spears to defend. What where are they? Over there. Knights looming around. Some walls here will be very good. Knight under stress. Knight going in. Boom. More. Bro, fake killed 15 villagers so far. I know I'll, less because either they killed the dog and then GOA deleted the boats. Or they literally killed the boats, but they were not needed anymore. Jue now falling behind in economy. Five less villagers. I think English is just being too slow at the moment. And they got the upgraded town center. And now they have better farms than the English now. 50% aura here. Everybody. But not a lot of farms. That's the thing. Yes, they're better now. But look, English have way more farms now. And all of those farms are better. Right. Wait, it's facing in for a third town center. God damn. It's actually a good move while you're raiding, right? While you're keeping your enemy busy. You go for that third town center, right? Whoa, no, no, no way. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Mass Shinto priests into mass knights. I think not even spears will beat that. Because they heal so fast now. <laughs> no way. Look at them go. Go shorty. Bro, come on. I want the thumbnail. Come, come back here. Shinto priests. Come to the back of the formation. Sh oh, that's, that's a good thumbnail. Look at that. More. No way! She's making more! And more! Nice! <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it. Japanese, bro. My favorite civilization, for sure. And three Uma Bannermans. Making sure if one dies, they still have the, the bonus. But we have on the other side, a lot of spears and crossbows. So, um, GOA is ready to counter this army. I don't know if he's ready for mass Shinto priests. Fifteen! Fifteen Shinto priests healing 60% faster. I don't know if he's ready for that. Honestly, I don't know. I want to see that in action. Show me the power! Page, huh? Show me the power of the Japanese! They, they're on the move! They're on the move! But the priests! Or are you just use, using them as a Pokemon as a Pokemon center? Okay, so they will not be part of the military. No, they are. I thought you would use them as as a Pokemon center, as in the knights go rave and then they come back to get healed. You know? No, they, they're gonna be part of the formation, they're gonna be part of the fight. So what's the best way to use them actually? Put them in line formation? To heal the most units possible, or you focus them in healing on the, they are in line formation. What are they going in? They're gonna convert? What? He 
Here we go. Here we go. Oh no, the knights. Oh no, the Shindo priest in the front line. That's not where you want them. The healings are actually crazy here. Knights being hard countered though. It's working, and it could work even better if Faye didn't throw most of the Shinto Priests. But it's still working, I don't believe this. There you go. I love it. Bro, only 5 of them... Bro, it was there were like 15. Only 5 of them are left. Because they ate a lot of the charges from the Knights. But... It worked. It worked. Fake cleans the whole army. And it's GG, guys. If you enjoyed this one, I did. Leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. Follow Faye. And give you anxiety on Twitch as well. Thank you for watching. See you soon.